How's it going, everybody? And welcome to another new episode of Classic Gaming Replay Shorts. We're going to finish up this little trilogy of Neo... of... not Neo Geo... Turbo Graphics Classics with Alien Crush. Another pinball game made by the same people who played Death Devil's Crush. And as you can see, we actually have two different tables to choose from. So let's start with Lunar's Eclipse. And once again, we get that ridiculously fun aspect of the fact that this is a table that could not exist in reality. Right down the middle, nothing I can do there. And back up. We haven't even gotten to the top screen yet. I wonder what's up there. Physics are the same as Devil's Crush, as I'm sure you can already notice. Maybe there isn't anything up there. Maybe there's only a two-screen table. Rockin' soundtrack, at least to me. Just like Devil's Crush, it's again very... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Now that's a save! Up and down and up and down! Ah, I didn't make it this time! They really did a cool job with the look of this table. Ooh, bonus game. Ooh, yep, he's changing colors. The concept of a pinball boss fight is kind of fun. I got him! I just gotta finish off his little floating sections! Ah! I was doing so well, too. Only 4,000 bonus points for that? And then they shoot it right through the middle. That's kinda shitty. The little dudes, uh, coming out on the right, the orange dudes, remind me of the, uh, alien you fight at the, uh... Ooh, I got another bonus for me. Didn't get the chance to do anything. And shot right down the middle again. Okay, this must have been the one they put out first. Because I can say Devil's Crush, and you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But at least as of now... Uh, Devil's Crush is the uh, far superiorly designed table. I mean, between getting constantly shot back out and straight through the middle, which no one likes, We 
We might actually get a clear on this one. Got him! Do I get another, or is that it? I get another! Now this bonus stage is going well. Don't get much closer than that without hitting. Get it? Yeah, another one down. I wonder how many of these I get to kill. Either way, I am earning some points this time. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha! That was I kind of amusing. I've got the head! One more hit. Ah, ran away! I came back, but I went down the middle. Still, three worms killed? That was pretty fun. Now what do I get? Okay, that's more like a bonus. I'll take 124,000 points, and I'll get shot right down the middle again. Ooh, the alien's eyes open. I just noticed that. I wonder what I did to do that. Now oh, they're closed again. What was that? Ooh, we got a slider closed on the left. And I got a stopper in the middle. It's a skull. Ah, giant worm is back. And he's ran away again. Hey, alien, I'm gonna beat you up with a pinball. No, this can't be a normal pinball if we're killing aliens with it. This has to be some kind of, like, you know... Antimatter pinball that eliminates material as second matter as soon as it touches. And the flippers have some kind of coating to prevent them from... getting destroyed by the ball. Or maybe it's got some kind of, you know, nanomolecular spikes that rip aliens apart on a atomic level or something. Okay, so... Okay, hitting the bumpers is what's causing the alien's eyes to light up. And we're down. Still, we should have a heck of a bonus off this one. Last ball. Ooh, the dude's on the right turn gray. Ah, we got Worm Boy again. This is ob ah, this is obviously the easy bonus stage to get to. Oh, 
Oh, I see. We get the little spider aliens to come out. That causes the mother alien in the middle to open its mouth. When its mouth is open... You can shoot the ball into its mouth, and whatever your... See, there it goes. It's open. Now we shoot the ball in the mouth, and we get our bonus. Hey, I saved it for a change. Well, we've done something again to, for the second time now to make the bumpers change position. Ooh, we got back to a relaunch. Goes up and down. And up. Oh, we stayed up. Down, down. And up and down. And we get another relaunch. Okay, that ramp on the right is open. We've not hit up there before. Let's see if we can get it. Get back up top. And the alien bonus again. There's four million. Right in the mouth. Okay, and just spits us down. Ooh, we broke those bumpers open. Get the mouth. Okay, this seems particularly mean. I don't think you can actually kill these. I think you just have to keep hitting them. And every one you send away seems to just bring another one back. I think we got 4,000 points for each one we hit. There's 180,000, that's 5 million. Relaunch. Something I think will happen if I can shoot that exploding ramp this time. Ah! I guess that's game. Still, not bad. And game over. It is still pretty cool that they include uh, being able to get a match. CRP.
So it showed two tables. Let's check out the other one. Demons Undulate. Doesn't look any different. It's the music. It changed the music. Okay, so this isn't my most shining of moments. Somebody tells me this is not going to be another high score game. In fact, something tells me at this point that it's going to take a uh, fair spit of luck to even hit a million. Because it'll just depend on how this last ball goes. Relaunch? Miss. Mouth is open. Six times multiplier. There's the score. And we have the bonus stage. And we're already down. Did almost nothing on that one. Our million. We made a million after all. So that's how you can get the upstairs bonus. game unless I hit a match.
That's game. So that was the only difference, was different music. So I put in CRP again. And we're going to wrap this episode of Shorts up. We'll be moving on to a different system for a while next episode. But I hope you've enjoyed these last three episodes featuring great TurboGrafx games. If you're interested in more about the TurboGrafx-16, you can always check out my uh, Let's Play of Utopia, which is a TurboGrafx-16 game. And I have other TurboGrafx <laughs> stuff that I plan to do in the future, including some uh, TurboGrafx CD stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 